number um, was a little annoying my morning. The morning tends to be the hardest glucose number to deal with. And I know it's the, the sunrise phenomenon that people call it and everything. And because your body's trying to get you up and ready and trigger you to have more energy to, to get ready for your day and start working. Okay, but I'm still working on it. And you can tell by my meter that some of the mornings, like 115, so it's good. It's still over 100, but it's better than it has been. But today, today, the number was 146, and I was, like, frustrated with that. But last night, I had one of those dreams that you just cannot get rid of. Even though I got to pee, up to go pee a couple times in, in the night, I still, as soon as I go back down to sleep, that stupid dream would come right back just of the dream was I was living with a sister in a house and we saw this woman outside who was like you know evidently homeless cold and everything like that so we let her in the house give her some food give her some dry clothes and stuff like that to let her warm up and I went out to find some resources and get some other things for her and a couple hours later I came back and she had invited another woman and some children into the house and the house was totally turned upside down it was all messy everything was chaos um, she had hacked into my sister's computer she hacked into my laptop she couldn't get into my work laptop um, so now we had to worry about what identity information she had stolen credit card information whatever so um, I said well this isn't going to work <laughs> I said, I have resources, I have places that you can go to, shelters and stuff like that. Um, I brought all the food and um, hygiene products that I bought and we loaded her, up, her and the kids up and, you know, even ordered an Uber for her to take her to the shelter and everything like that. So oh, I said, you can't stay here, you've broken our trust already and you've only been here a few hours. But I said, these people, they can help you and we can send you on with the things that... Uh, that we can do, you know, the things that we can give her and stuff like that. But anyway, so that was a dream and it was like crazy because I couldn't get rid of it. It was driving me crazy. Um, but that's why, probably why I woke up because I know when you're, you don't sleep, your glucose level is higher in the morning. And then of course, anything that triggers your cortisol, which a bad dream would do that or pain or anything like that so, you know lack of sleep will do that too so i know it's the combination i still can't figure out what the dream means i'll have to process that a little bit more but anyways anyone else have the same thing a bad dream and it <laughs> makes your glucose go crazy and this is before food or coffee or anything okay talk to you later